Welcome to Party Reservoir. This is East Bay Mud's first location where we store the snow melt that comes in in the springtime. At Party, we support a variety of operations and we work very closely with our watershed and natural resource partners here in East Bay Mud. We have hydropower generation. We have the hydropower operators actually operate the powerhouses and they're kind of the nerve center for communications here at Party. East Bay Mud is committed to minimizing our carbon footprint. A great example of that is we produce energy from the generators in Party Dam and the generators in Comanche Dam. Party spills into the McCallum River Canyon and goes directly into Comanche. This reservoir is quite a bit different in operational strategies than Party. Party is all about drinking water and water quality protection. Comanche is more of a flood control reservoir. Additionally, we have a wide array of recreational opportunities. You can water ski, you can swim, you can boat, you can fish. So it's a very popular destination for visitors. We have over 35 miles of trail. 30 miles of those trail are part of the McCullough Coast to Crest Trail. We also have a sporting recreation area called the Comanche Hills Hunting Preserve. That's a facility that allows sporting clays, archery, and planted bird hunting. The district is really invested to steward the resources that we're entrusted with. It's embedded in our mission statement. So we have over 28,000 acres of land in the McCullough area that we protect exclusively to insulate the reservoirs from impacts that might occur. So the water goes through Comanche Reservoir, through the dam and into the hatchery or down the McCullough River. East Bay Mud, as a water company, put Party Dam in in the 1920s. And then in the 1960s, they put Comanche Dam in. When they put those dams in, basically we've blocked about 80% of the historical spawning habitat for Chinook salmon. And so because we did that, we have mitigation responsibilities. We've been doing habitat restoration on the Lower McCullough River since 1992. What it's done is it's brought the river up out of the channel and onto the floodplain and provided habitat for juvenile fish as well as improved spawning habitat for adult fish. We are at the McCullough River Fish Hatchery, the base of Comanche Dam. This hatchery is run by Cal Fish and Wildlife and the district um, provides the funding for the facility. We grow 3.4 million juvenile salmon, 2 million Chinook salmon, and we grow 150,000 yearling steelhead to support the steelhead population in the McCallum River. This facility in itself, it's helped sustain the salmon population when it was at record low, under 400 fish a year coming back. Now we're up to 19,000 as a high. On good years, we have provided 20 to 30 percent of the total ocean commercial catch in the state of California. So we spend a lot of time managing this river for those species so that they have good freshwater habitat and they have high survival when they get to the ocean and can survive in the ocean to come back. This river has been mined off in the gold rush days. So we're putting the old river rock back into the river to, to create spawning habitat for salmon. It's enhancing the river to a more natural state instead of a river being more of a canal that just shoots water down. Our job in the Fisheries and Wildlife Department is to support district staff to protect the natural resources on district property. As biologists, we make sure that district activities have minimal impact on protected resources like California tiger salamanders, valley elderberry longhorn beetles, and California red-legged frogs. The fact that we're here managing the resources that we've been entrusted to protect really helps us to deliver that high quality water to our customers in a way that is sustainable and, and it's the right thing to do. Part of the water from Party Reservoir goes into the McCulloway Aqueducts that travels 82 miles to the Bay Area to provide drinking water for the East Bay. In the south arm of Party Reservoir, there is the outlet tower that feeds the water to an underground tunnel that travels two miles to the west portal where it breaks off into the three McCulloughy Aqueducts. Our elevation is 550 feet above sea level, so we're able to use our location for our gravity feed into the system. During times of drought, we're able to take an allotment of water from the Sacramento River 
That's where we deal with Sacramento County at Freeport. They will pump water out of the Sacramento River into the Folsom South Canal. At the south arm of the Folsom South Canal, we have our clay station pumping plant, which will pump the water out of the canal 17 miles to our equalization tank at Comanche Pumping Plant. And from Comanche Pumping Plant, it'll pump an additional seven miles to the Brent flow splitting facility. And then we're able to break it off into aqueducts one, two, or three down to the Bay Area.